Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for, for one another. We thank you for you as we encounter you in one another, as we encounter you in the relationships that we can have and the relationships that, Lord, come out from us that draw us to be both our best people and challenge us against the worst part of who we are. Lord, thank you for being there, that mediator in those moments where who we were and how we acted was hurting others and hurting ourselves and how you challenged us and changed us and paused us and stopped us. And Lord, help us to admit where we're still wrong, where we still need to grow and learn and, and care better. Lord, we pray for, for people that are going through life and it's all about them. And even though they're not isolated, they're, they're out and busy and doing things, Lord, they're very lonely. And the meaning of their, of their life is lonely. And so, Lord, we pray today that you will, you will take those moments and make them real. You, we will take those realities and, and, and change them around and, and confront them with, with what's going on in, in, in who they are. And Lord, we pray today that you will be our blessing as, as, as we find ourselves in, in all the grace and all the hope that you can offer. And Lord, we pray this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And coming to today, I want to encourage you now to, to take a look at God's word in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, as Jesus gives that commandment. 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. And no greater love hath, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Yeah, he was speaking about himself. But more than that, it was a real calling on us. And the call to lay down our lives is not a, a call to go out there and die for each other. But to be ready to take everything that we are and everything that we're about and say, I can, I can give this to people. And I can, I can lay down in front of them and give them a place to go and give them a, a way through. What does it mean for you to love? Does it, does it mean flowers and romance and chocolates? And, and it should. But at the core of it, it ought to mean grace and peace and offering hope and giving people encouragement in who they are and loving them through all the obstacles that each one of us face in some way. This is Christ's commandment. This is the example that he set in, in his whole ministry. This isn't just about the cross. This is about the journey to the cross. This is about the resurrection and the journey from the tomb to right now, to love one another. As he loved you, loves you, will love you forever. You've got great love in you. Okay. You and I may have never met. This might be the first video you're ever seeing, and I apologize for the crazy hair, but that's what hats do in the winter. But your ability to love, even as you draw breath, you have the ability to love. And your ability to love is your ability to love. And, and, and Jesus is not just commanding that 12 or that number of disciples or the 500 witnesses of, of his resurrection that would come after or the first generation of the church that call to love is for every christian every human this is the the call to be who we are to love and to be loving to give love to receive love love one another and rejoice in that love that all of life becomes a praise and is glorious to God. God bless and keep you. And I love you. Amen.